today. I'm going to fix my lawn aerator. This is a Cyclone branded aerator that you can just buy from the big green shed, Bunnings. Comes with some real small tines that are attached to this. Um, I, find, I found that they clogged really easily on my lawn. I think it's because my lawn so, was so hard. They were hollow, completely hollow. You'd, um, you'd stab the lawn with it. It would take a core out. Then when you'd go again, the tine would be full and it wouldn't eject out the top here like it was supposed to. Then it would just start compacting it. So <clears throat> I bought some of these tines off of the internet. They're just replacements for like an actual lawn aerator. They have like a shaft that runs up here. So I just drilled these holes out, plug welded them in there. All good. Works really well. Um, the only issue now is, I don't know if you can see that, this, this handle is actually bent. There's a bit of flex and a bit of play here. Uh, another issue is my shoe, when I'm trying to aerate, I can't get my foot in there, that pole stops it. So I have to step on the sides, which puts a lot of pressure on your foot, just that small area. And if you're aerating a huge, well, a few hundred square meters, eventually all that pressure in that one small spot on your foot starts to get to you. So. If I remove this bar, this now is not gonna have any strength at all and it's just gonna bend. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take some tubing. This is just 25 mil box, inch box. And I'm gonna uh, weld up a little frame. I'm gonna completely cut this off. Cut this off here and here. Then I'm gonna build a rectangle hoop, attach this to it. And hopefully I'll be able to get my whole foot in there and it'll be a little bit stronger. Get into it. crude but it's gonna work so handle welder on the bolt through here with a nut welder in here relatively strong welds not pretty but they work um, and ah. now I can get my shoe in there So that seems to work. I still think it's a little bit weak around here. I might need to triangulate it a bit, but taking some cores and check this out. You can see last year when I did that potting mix, top dress, check that out. That's it there. And there's the sand where I covered it and then just the soil underneath. So um, yeah, the root structure goes down through here. Very interesting to see the soil profile. So some areas are a lot harder than others, purely to do with walking. So you can see, if I walk through here, if I want to cut across to this little shed room here, I could just cut across the grass. The ground there is significantly harder to core. Likewise, if I just cut across to the shed, um, through here, and then basically anywhere the dogs run. So 
the dogs quite often. I don't know if you can see it here. There's a bit of a path that they've worn. But you can see it through here, the path the dogs will run to get down to the fence. So that's going to be a lot harder. Um, yeah, I'm just going to focus on the whole lawn, get that all done. Now I'm not going to top dress this straight away. My plan is that I'll leave the cores to dry out. There's a lot of good nutrients and a lot of good fertilizer and everything in this soil, so I don't necessarily want to remove it. I just want to get it out of the ground to relieve the compaction. So you can just pick these up, rake them up and remove them. Probably more important if you're trying to mow with the cylinder mower, then it's going to be, you know, you don't want this entering your cylinder mower and dulling your blades or, you know, bending it if there's any rocks in there. So yeah, I'll get stuck into this. I'm not going to obviously film the whole thing because that would be pretty boring for everyone to watch, but yeah, just a, something that I, else that I'm doing. Um, if you do want to follow along, please like the videos and subscribe if you want to see more of it because it sort of shows me how, it, it shows me what I'm doing, if it's working, if you have any tips or advice or questions or just want to discuss something or just say hello, drop a comment. It would be really, it would, I'd really appreciate that because it just shows me that people are actually interested in what I'm doing. So as always, get out there, get stuck into it, enjoy your lawn, spring's here, it'll be, um, It'll be good to go. Summer, we'll have the cylinder mower on this thing uh, within this season, I reckon. So, cheers. Girl held up all right. I'm, I'm knackered. The plan now is to let these dry out a little bit so then when I hit them with the mower, they don't just you know, they actually blow out into a little like a powder, and I can just rub it back into the soil, get that done, and see how it looks. Evidently that is a little bit dusty, so when you do it, make sure you put a white shirt on. <laughs> now that's come up pretty good. Can't complain about that. Most of them got mulched up. Um, yeah. Free top dress. <laughs> so yeah, I'll give that a little bit of a water. Uh, the next thing that's gonna be happening is uh, I'm gonna be building a cabinet to put my irrigation pump in and the fertigation system I got from Easy Flow, shut off valves, flow meters, irrigation, uh, Wi-Fi irrigation from Hunter. It's gonna be sick. So yeah, stick around for that. That's looking pretty good, I reckon. Most of those cores got smashed up. Some are still left. But, oh, it's too dusty, I'll get them later. <laughs> Cheers, see ya.